In Nigeria, there are so many data analysts, but the most important question to ask is, do they have a job? If you are part of them, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Rebecca and I'm a data analyst and this YouTube channel, I teach tutorials, data analytics tutorials and also give out video content that will help you to get all the information you need to become a well sought after data analyst in Nigeria, okay? So today we're going to talk about the things you need to do to actually get a job as a data analyst in Nigeria. So let's just get right into it. Okay guys, so the first thing you need to do is you need to have a portfolio. You need to have a portfolio web website as a data analyst in Nigeria, okay? You need to have a website where you you um, showcase the project, the personal project that you've done okay. in that website, right? So that when, when employ, employers, when they look at your website, they can, they can have a kind of confidence that you are able to do the job. So for the beginners, get a project, build personal projects, all right? Get data set, build a project, put them in a website, and showcase your talent okay so there are so many websites there are so many ways you can create a portfolio website one of the way i know that is free is using canva if you can code that's very cool you can use html to actually create a website for yourself but if you don't know how to do those things you can just go to canva my first um portfolio website i created was actually you i used canva to create it so you can just go to canva and create your website just put in the different projects you've done just to showcase that you have what it takes to actually do the job that you are searching for so just one advice to you in creating your projects and doing your projects just make sure any project you choose to do make sure that it solves a business problem make sure that the project you are working on solves a business problem or solves a problem generally okay so many people just have a bunch of projects that just abstract okay just get a data set that you know that will be able to solve a problem so when employees employers when they look at your portfolio they're able to see that oh you are able to solve a problem right using um, um using analysis and they have some kind of confidence confidence to actually employ you so that's the first thing you need to do get a portfolio website very important so when you're planning applying for jobs send in your portfolio website link so they can know that you are very serious about what you are doing okay so let's move into number two so the second thing you need to do is i need to take your linkedin seriously you need to be on linkedin very very important you need to talk about what you do on linkedin talk about the projects you are working on let people know that you know what you are doing let people know that something is happening in your site in your area okay so you need to do that you also need to connect like people's posts reply people's comments comment on people's posts and chat up people connect people with people on linkedin i remember i got a job through linkedin just because i chatted someone up and asked for a job i just i was just like okay i'm open to a job is that and you know of any openings and all and well good thing for me he actually had an opening and that was how that was how i was able to get an interview and i was able to get a job so you don't know who is who just make sure you are chatting people up you are connecting with people you are posting on linkedin to know what you can to let people know what you can actually do so don't just sit down there scrolling endlessly on social media or scrolling on that post post watching on that post, make make things happen in their life okay get into it post talk about what you do okay so guys the third thing you need to do to make money or to get a job as a data analyst in nigeria is that you need to start teaching others so you can actually teach other people that want to learn this skill and make money from it so i know you might be thinking oh i just learned this skill i don't think i need uh, i know all i need to know to be able to teach and so on yeah i understand that because when i started also i got a job to teach 
I got a job to be an instructor to you know teach others how to be a leader and a leader. But I was scared, like, can I do this? And I'm new, I don't even have any experience. I was very skeptical, but then I just took the opportunity. And I'm so grateful to God and, and I'm so grateful that I was I, I was able to courageously take that um, um opportunity, okay? Because as time goes on, as I said the job, it helped me actually gain confidence. As a data analyst, it helped me solidify my own skill. Okay, because when you teach something repeatedly, you get to know it better and better yourself. It also helped me get other jobs. So when people know that okay, I'm already employed, when people are seeing what I'm doing, I'm teaching others. It is easier for you to even get a job than you don't have any experience. If you've not taught anyone, you've not done any sort of job, it's more difficult that way. But when you're teaching others, people are seeing what you are doing, you're talking about it, and it helps you get a job. People like success. When people say you're doing well, more opportunities will come to you. So don't be scared. Just start where you are. If you are just good at Excel, teach Excel alone. If it's Power BI that you are good at, teach Power BI. If it's SQL that you like, teach SQL whatever. Teach at the level that you are. Teach what you know. Okay, just start anywhere. Don't be scared. Don't think that ah, I can't do this. No, you actually can. Just start and you see yourself excelling. Okay, so the fourth thing that you're going to do is start a YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, guys, you need to start a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. You need to start a YouTube channel. So just start a YouTube channel. Post tutorials there. Talk about what you know. You can make money off it right it might not be in spontaneous it might not be immediately it might not happen so fast okay but this content tutorial and data analytics tutorials are evergreen content people 10 years 10 years later five years later two years later will always be able to get value from those tutorials so you always want to make money from them so start a youtube channel start anywhere you are start teaching whatever you know and you're not going to regret that so you can make money doing just that okay you can make money when you're, 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 you have a youtube channel you can get membership offers you can you can get a lot of opportunities just doing that so instead of just sitting idle looking for jobs and all that just start a youtube channel you have nothing to lose guys definitely you do not have anything to lose so there's nothing to be scared of all right, so the last thing we're going to talk about today is I will tell you to start cold mailing. Yeah, go to employers, email, send them email, tell them what you can do. Tell them that you have the key to solve their problem, that you can turn their business from 1 million uh, making business to 50 million dollars business, whatever. Go to their email send them emails let them sell yourself let employers let companies know that you have what it takes to help them so instead of you waiting for them to chase you go there chase um employers go go on linkedin and get the hr and email send them email tell them what you do tell them how data analytics how your skill can help improve their businesses and when you're able to say yourself congratulations you'll be able to get a job so i guess i hope i've been able to help you so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel especially if you are new into the analysis my channel is the one for you because i'm here to help make your journey very easy okay all right see you guys in my next video bye